Hello, thanks for joining us for our next video. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the new ST DuPont Space Odyssey. This is the premium version, so by way of background they are also doing a Prestige, which is even more expensive because this has got an expensive pen. Um, this is the premium version. And this is the cardboard sleeve that sits on the outside of the box. Open this up, we've got a little bit of a velvety felt lining. And inside is the piano black lacquered gift box. This um, blue thing on top actually is a protective sticker. So um, if I just try and get a grip of it and peel it back, you'll see that the um, very shiny. You can see my reflective light here. You can also see the window on my computer screen. Um, There's the box. So this is sort of like a steel or an aluminium plaque on the top that says Space Odyssey, ST DuPont Paris. They have got their ST DuPont logo uh, writing in a different font to normal um, and they've incorporated the normal ST DuPont logo into the word of space odyssey it's quite clever then it's got a sort of an orbit um, of a shuttle on it and then it's got a little bit of detail in the corners which <clears throat> replicates what you've got in the in the pen yeah it's a little bit difficult to film this box because it's so shiny so I'll open it up and we can see what's what's inside there is another replication of the plaque that's on the front this time it has got the number of this edition. There are 2001 in total. Obviously a nod towards the um, the film, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Sort of a replication of what's on the front. If you do buy one of these pens, what you've got to be careful of with both of these plaques is that it's quite thin and quite sharp on the edges. So if you were to decide to brush the top of the box to get rid of the... Um, dust or fingerprints on it, watch the edge of that plaque because it is quite sharp because it's very very finely manufactured. So here is the pen, it has a little protective uh, plastic cover over it so I'll take that off and I'll take out the pen for you to see. I'll just slide the box out of the way. So here it is. So it's based on the Elise or uh, Line D as it's now called model. I'm struggling to focus a bit here. I might change the zoom in a moment. So here it is. There we go, change the zoom. So you can see the lacquer detailing which replicates the Milky Way galaxy. And then you've got lots of quite intricate detailing which is engraved. So the, the pen is made of brass, it's then lacquered over the top and also plated. So the bits that are metal are palladium plated and then these bits are Chinese lacquer which are given an effect. It really is quite impressive. The build quality of the ST DuPont Line D pens is really good um, and this one obviously just takes it up to another level because of this detailing. So <clears throat> here's the ST DuPont logo underneath uh, the cap, the top of the cap. It is maybe difficult to see but it's 3D so the logo is, is metal and then it's sort of in a bed of black lacquer and then it's got clear lacquer over the top so it gives a 3D effect. You've got the SD DuPont shield there as well in black lacquer. The engraving on there has got some silver glittery elements to it as well as it would be in sort of like a metallic powder blue. You've got a little bit of a pink in there. Then it goes to black. These black bits then have got um, little metallic elements that look like stars. You can see them in the main barrel of the pen. <clears throat> You've got the engravings along here to look like rivets and then these panels as well that quite clever. They've got a texture to them but they feel like they've been filled in as well with a bit of clear lacquer so that when you brush along it it doesn't feel doesn't feel too rough because it sort of has the look of a a file doesn't it but if you rub your finger on it it doesn't feel as rough as a file so I think it's been filled in 
<clears throat> There's that SD Depont logo that I said was on the box with the little orbit signal, um, sort of orbit logo around it. Quite clever coming off the, the D for SD Depont. This little symbol here is um, a leaf and that signifies that this is made from Chinese lacquer which um, I visited the SD Dupont factory a few years ago which is in the French Alps and um, they've got some quite intricate equipment that um, sort of folds um, manipulates the Chinese lacquer and then they sort of hand apply it and polish it yeah, it's quite a good um, quite a good visit we uh, we made a video actually at the time which you can find elsewhere on this YouTube channel so I'll try and put a link to it in this video now um, and at the end of the video as well <clears throat> so you can watch that if you would like I um, don't know how well this is coming out here but you've got quite a lot of depth to this lacquer that's come across on the video probably as black but it's very dark blue looks like a midnight blue or that the lacquer is black and there's actually blue glitter in it as you'd have on metallic paint on a car so at this end then which is where the post where you post the cap you've got these rivets again um, so the the cap fits uh, just by friction it clicks into place so if I slide that off here is the nib which you can see is 14 karat gold comes in medium or fine this is a medium it's got the SD Dupont Shield logo and then also the D and then it says 585 which is the gold <coughs> content of a 14 karat gold nib, medium width and 14k. The grip section is um, engraved with these lines and then it sort of steps out at the base. You've got the more modern SD Dupont font around here. Sorry if some of this is not showing up as shinily as it normally would, but it sort of a new pen is attracting fingerprints. It's a cartridge converter, so the barrel unscrews. This is feels like really, really good quality. There's an O-ring there, so when you put it into place, it sort of fits in. Uh, it takes an international standard type ink cartridge or um, converter. Oh, as well as, as well as SD Dupont, it says Paris on there. The nib sort of curls around the, the feed. It's got a shallow feed on the back. So there's the back of the nib. The nib looks to be the same as it is on the um, the standard D-line pens. The cap will post on the back of here, and it clicks into place on one of these um, one of these grooves, and it fits quite securely. I don't find the cap that heavy. The pen is is quite heavy because it's brass. Um, lacquered. The, I'm sure that they've told us in the past that the cap is made of aluminium so actually it's lighter than the barrel of the pen so that if you wanted to post it it doesn't upset the balance too much. Obviously you can feel that it's there but it's not um, not as heavy as the rest of the pen. So that clicks into place. SD DuPont historically are a table lighter company so um, one of their one of their features is the, the noise the table lighters make when you um, when you flick them open and the, they've tried to replicate that in their pen caps too. So if you listen to this, it's got a little metallic click when you put it on, which is probably just a more subdued version of what the table lighters do when you flick the lids up um, open. I haven't lined the barrel and the cap up but you can actually just turn it around and do that. But it seems to seems to be okay actually, it doesn't matter which way you put it, it, it sort of fits and works. So going back to the to the box. Underneath the pen, we've got um, a little box that's got the um, additional information in it. That includes a little warranty card, a box of ink cartridges, a converter. SD Dupont engraved converter, which is an international standard, and then a little a little um, brochure which talks about a brochure which talks about the uh, the range, the history to the idea. Some quite nice imagery. They then outline the Prestige collection. So this is the Fountain Pen from the Prestige collection, which is the more expensive one. 
Um, they do a, a lighter and the fountain pen which looks like a rocket which will stand on its end. <coughs> There's a set which is um, really clever actually has like a, a rocket base um, for the prestige version bottle of ink and then they also do a fountain pen and ash sorry a, a lighter and ashtray and the lighter has a stand that makes it look like a whatever that is a Mars lander. They're both limited to 399 individual pieces. This one was limited to 2001. They also do a set of cufflinks, which look like astronauts, which is quite cool. So you can buy the whole set. And then the premium version, which is this one. So quite a nice little good quality brochure, which outlines all of that information. It's a bit difficult for it to focus, isn't it, on that... Um So here we go, I'll just leave you with the detail of the Milky Way. Hope you enjoyed watching this. As I said, please do check out our SD DuPont factory tour video, which is elsewhere on this YouTube channel, which I'll link to in a moment. I didn't outline this. Uh, engraving on the side of the, cl the clip, which says made in France, and then the number of this edition. This clip actually is um, articulated, hinged, and sprung. So it'll hold securely in your pocket and actually underneath there you can see they've continued the design of the of the rivets that are elsewhere on the on the cap, which is quite a nice feature for it to have. Quite a lot of attention to detail. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it as well with other like-minded pen people who might like to see the unboxing of this pen. Check out the other videos on this channel for news, unboxing videos and the odd little review. Thanks very much for tuning in. See you again soon.